Blog Talk Radio. You are listening to Some Kind of Radio Show on blogtalkradio.com. Talking about the producers of Some Kind of Bowling Show on livestream.com. Call now, 347-539-5699. Now here's your host, the one, the only, the host of the most, the guy that thinks he knows all the answers, but doesn't, Bill McKinnon. Good evening, everybody. Earl McCune with you on another episode of some kind of radio show here on blogtalkradio.com. Well, it's uh, January 20th, 2013. Well, I'll tell you what, it's been a little while since I've been on the air. I've been really, really busy, and uh, oh man, I'll tell you, it's starting to catch up to me a little bit. But, uh, you know, that's life. Find out that I got a few more gray hairs on my uh, little beard here than I uh, didn't realize I had before, but uh, that's just life, and uh, life goes on. Well, we're going to kind of change up the show a little bit from what we normally do. We are going to start talking about flops, 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 flops. You know, and uh, flops are interesting. I think some of the best things uh, we could talk about is some of the biggest movie flops of all time. I was looking on IMDb.com and uh, looking at some of the the movie top movie flops of pretty much all time and uh they ranked it and uh i'm going to start basically with uh number 10 on the list and i work my way down to one uh and i'll tell you what only a couple of these movies i've really even heard of so you know i can see why they're flops i mean i'm personally myself i kind of consider myself a uh pretty good judge of character on movies and uh well, I'm going to just kind of run down the list real quick. Uh, this is according to www.imdb.com. Uh, number 10, uh, Heaven's Gate. Um, never seen it. Never heard of it. Uh, it stars Chris Christopherson and Christopher Walken. Um, you know, I've never heard of these movies. Uh, flop, 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 I guess. Uh, number nine, the only one here that I really, really heard of and actually seen, uh, Speed Racer. Uh, I'll tell you what, going back to the original cartoon, I mean, I love the original cartoon. You know, you got Speed and you have Chim Chim. The movie sucked. I mean, flat out. Um, big flop. Uh, let's see. Moving on to the next one, Town and Country. Who have never seen it. 13th Warrior, I, I actually thought that was pretty good with Antonio Banderas. I actually enjoyed that movie a little bit. Uh, it wasn't bad. Uh, that was number seven. Number six, uh, Mars Needs Moms. Um, never seen it. My kids liked it. My kids and my wife liked it a lot. Uh, you couldn't stand that movie? You didn't like You didn't like Mars Needs Moms? I need my, I need my mama over here. Come on over here, mama. <laughs> Uh, let's see, number five on that list here, Sahara. Uh, never seen it. Uh, Matthew McConaughey, Penelope Cruz, two big stars, another flop. Here's one, number four, not really much of a surprise, and I remember when the previews were out for it was The Adventures of Pluto Nash with Eddie Murphy. Uh, never even bothered to watch this movie, but according to the... 1 to 10 scale here on IMDb, got a 3.6. Uh, next one, The Alamo with Dennis Quaid. Never really got, never had much interest in it. Uh, the next one coming up, probably the most recent one out, uh, John Carter came out last year. Uh, saw the previews for it. I mean, it looked really, really badass. i never seen the movie, but, uh, you know, I guess it didn't do too well in the, uh, Oh, thank you very much. Uh, got a beverage handed to me by my beautiful wife, Deb. And then number one flop, Cutthroat Island. Uh, uh, directed by Rennie Harlan, uh, stars Gina Davis, Matthew Modine. Uh, some of the, uh, those are the most recent flops. Now let's move on to the biggest flop reported here uh, through Yahoo. I'll tell you what. The big comeback of Arnold. Um, 
I guess uh, basically this uh, movie, the, uh, the Last Stand. Well, that might be Arnold's Last Stand. Uh, I'll tell you what, Arnold. After you got out of politics, got divorced. I'll tell you, I was just looking at this recent interview, uh, sitting there with, uh, you know, he did this interview, and he looks like a piece of plastic. I mean, he, he, his lips are all like put together, and he's like, Arnold, I'll be back. What are you going to be back from the dead, Arnold? What the hell? Which uh, I, quite frankly, just looks bad. I mean, it's. It's bad. Yeah, the guy looks bad. Um, so if anyone wants to give us a call on any of those, uh, those flops, or if they even know of other movie flops they want to discuss, uh, telephone number to call in, area code 347-539-5699. You can call in on that. Now, here's another interesting part of the show we're going to kind of cover here. Um, first thing I want to do, before I do that, is we're gonna just take a quick uh, twenty second break here, and basically it's just me talking about my show on uh, blog. Uh, excuse me, not but blog talk radio, but uh, on uh, livestream dot com. Uh, hey, take it to me here. Be right back. They're back. <laughs> they are back again. Looking at the original seven episodes of some kind of born show. Join Earl, Debbie, and Mike on our WhatsApp, www.livestream.com, slash some kind of bowling show. All fun, games, and laughs at your fingertips. Check it out now. Yeah! Okay, we're back here, uh, blogtalkradio.com, some kind of radio show. You can call me and talk to me live on the radio slash internet. Area code three four seven five three nine five six nine nine. Um, let's see. I'm going to get back to the page I was looking at. Totally useless facts. Um, I'll tell you what. I got a million of them right here. I, I found a website. Totally uh, just full of useless facts. I mean, who who cares about some of this stuff? But I, I found some of it very very interesting. Um, the one here I'm looking, you know, Mr. Rogers, everybody remembers Mr. Rogers, won't you be my neighbor? Uh, he was an ordained minister. And that's that's one of the useless facts that reading through this site, uh, I actually knew that one. So I'm kind of surprised. But uh, Mr. Rogers was an ordained minister, if anyone didn't know that. Okay, I'm going to kind of read through some of these here. And, uh, you know, if anyone wants to chime in on any of this stuff, of course you can feel free to call in. Uh... Let's see. First couple to be shown in bed together on prime time television. Believe it or not, weren't even human. They were cartoons. Fred and Wilma Flintstone. Wow. I never knew that. That's something interesting I never knew. That's a totally useless fact, but you know what? Fun one anyway. Uh, Coca-Cola. Uh, the logo for Coca-Cola was originally green. Did you believe that? Green. Not red. Green. So there's one I didn't know. I don't know if anyone else knew that. Uh, also, you know, if anyone wants to chime in with any useless facts they know, they can feel free to call in as well. Again, the phone number here is 347-539-5699. Three, three, five, three, nine, five, nine, nine. And I'm going to talk about a few more of these useless facts. Uh, let's see if any, we get anybody to call in tonight. Uh, we may not. I really didn't get a chance to push this show as much as I'd like to. I only put it out for about an hour and a half notice that I was doing this. Um, the reason I'm doing it, I'm home. I'm home tonight from work uh, at a decent hour. Um, but, you know, hey, we got a few people out there that may pick us up later on and uh, listen to the uh, playbacks. But uh, if I don't get any calls, hey, I don't get any calls. That's pretty normal for this show. Hey, speaking of flops, it could be this show. This show could be the next big flop. <laughs> Oh, I find myself entertaining, but not really. Okay, more here for you. It is possible to lead a cow upstairs, but not downstairs. That's that's one I didn't know. Okay, well, not that I'll ever, ever get the chance to do that, but like I'd ever really try, but okay. The Hawaiian alphabet, get this, only has 12 letters. 
It doesn't say what the 12 letters are, but it only has 12 letters. Let's see, more useless facts. Here's what I actually remember reading about not too long ago. My daughter. Hi, Lori. Say hi. Hi. Say hi. 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 Hi, hi. Hi, hi. <laughs> you can talk for a minute. Go ahead. Say hello to the world. Hello, world. This is some kind of voice show, the last Some kind of radio show. This is kind of radio show. That's my daughter. She. How old are you, Lori? I'm seven years old. You're seven years old? Do you go to school? Uh, what do you think? What? Do you have a job? No. Go get one. I need some money. Why? Because I need some money. Oh, no, you don't, mister. I can't. How about, and now my son walks in. Alex, come over here, buddy. Alex? This is my son, Alex. Alex, how old are you? Nine. Nine? You go to school? Yeah. Got a girlfriend? No. No? <laughs> Dude, yeah. You got a job? No. Why don't you have a job? Because I'm quite nervous. You're nervous? He's too young to be. He's not too young. Get a job. I'll do it. Actually, you, actually, you got a job. Hey, is there anything that he's done around the house here? <laughs> I know. Cleaning up after yourself and clean our room and you. Clean the room, will you? Get on it. Get on it, little girl. <laughs> <laughs> I am doing my show, Lori. Can you? I'll do it. Well, say hello, and i got a few more things i got to talk hello. about. Hello. My name's Loriana. We know that. Anyway. I'm Wiener Cat. <laughs> you, you did not just say that. Hey, hey, something well, Lori, don't ever say it again. I'll say it. Okay. knock, knock joke. Okay, tell the world a knock, knock joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Water. Water? Who? What are you doing? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, so that was a duck joke. Okay, one no, more. No, no, chuck, chuck. Yeah, we knew that was a no, no, joke. What thank you. Gonna, thank you for the show of your comedy, Lori. You did a very good job. What chuck, chuck, and what chuck, chuck, and what chuck, 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 what? That's great. I can't even do that. All right, thank you, Lori. All right. Speaking of... <laughs> She's pretty intelligent, so I, I just wonder if she's got more copper and zinc in her hair than I do. It, it, it says, intelligent people have more zinc and copper than, in their hair than the average Joe. Okay, well, I guess I'm the average Joe. I'm, a, I'm not pretty smart. I mean, I'm just kind of just this dumb guy that does this show, and uh, there isn't anybody calling in. So, <laughs> anyway, that's just me talking to myself and about myself and for myself. Okay, I got a few more. I, I got a million of these useless facts. And like I said, if anybody wants to call in, they can call in and talk about the useless facts at 347-539-5699. I always got told, too, that uh, I have a wonderful face for radio. <laughs> I do. I, it's beautiful. I mean, I have a really nice complexion going today. Better than Arnold's. I mean, Arnold's is kind of plastic. I don't know if you've seen Arnold Schwarzenegger lately. Like, I talked about him earlier in this if you go to Yahoo and you go to the old Yahoo screen, you know, they talk about movies. Oh, my God. You, they got them, you know, like that. Pause there. Excuse me, I'm yawning. Oh, my goodness, I'm tired. He's sitting next to Johnny Knoxville, and I kid you not. He is sitting there, and he looks like a plastic doll. He looks like a wax figure, for Christ's sake. Arnold, get out of the public eye. Go smoke your cigars. Do whatever you do. Go, go knock up one of your... Um, one of your mage or whatever again and you know go have some fun okay I can't believe I just said that but I did okay uh, I'm going to take a break uh, this is a quick 30 second break again I'm going to play my little commercial and uh, be right back again 347-539-5699 you can call and talk to me live they're back they are back again looking at the original seven episodes of some kind of born show join earl w and mike on a whatsapp www.livestream.com slash some kind of born show all fun games and laughs at your fingertips check it out now Back on some kind of radio show on blogtalkradio.com. 
with your host, Earl McCune, myself, and my daughter who's sitting here. Uh, she likes to tell jokes and tell dirty jokes, and she's just a little <laughs> ham here. All right. And I got a lot more of these useless facts. Oh, Alex, you're in too. Oh, wait. And you're bringing in the dog. Okay. There's our little dog, Holly. She she has to kind of come in too. And you you gonna say hi? You gonna say hi? No. We well, you already said hi. I'm reading useless facts here for everybody on the radio. Okay, here's one. In the 1940s, the FCC assigned television channel one to mobile services, two-way radios in taxi cabs, for, for instance, but did not renumber the other channel assignments. That is why your TV has channels two and up, but no channel one. Of course, this was pre-cable TV. So, I mean, that's another little interesting fact. I would have never knew that. Uh, here's one about San Francisco cable cars. The San Francisco cable cars are not only mobile national monuments, national monuments, I'm sorry, but they are working pieces of technology. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, stuff I never knew before. Let's see, I'm ch I, there is like a thousand of these things. Oh, my goodness. I'm not even reading that one. That's just too bad. I don't think that's important. Um, I'm trying to read how many numbers. That's 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 100,000. That's millions, billions, trillions. Uh, I think that's important. Yeah, I have. It kind of crazy. I think that's important. Oh, you want to say something important? Mm -hmm. If you get passes, there's three bowling at East Gate Lane. There's free bowling at East. Okay, yeah, if you get the bowling passes. Okay, um, we'll talk about that. All right, Alex, hold on, buddy. I'll let you talk here in a minute. But I got a, I got a few more of these useless facts I want to talk about with people. Okay. Okay, a sick pig rarely curls his tail. Did you know that? Do you know that? Did you, yeah, did you I knew know? It. You knew that. Who told you that? Only guess me, right? Mm. So you didn't know that, <laughs> bugger. You bugger. Okay. Now here's one I did know about. James Doohan, the late, great James Doohan of Star Trek, who plays Lieutenant Commander Montgomery Scott, Scotty, is missing the entire middle index finger on his right hand. I knew that. I've, you know, actually, if you, uh, if you watch carefully uh, on some of the old, old episodes, but he was actually on a new episode of, not a new episode, but uh, he was actually on TNG, uh, carrying a bottle of Aldebaran whiskey to the holodeck, and he, uh, you can see he's missing his middle finger in that, in that one picture. Oh, um, here's one. Here's one. Ants prefer not to walk through baby powder. Hold on a minute. You guys gotta behave. You guys are... You guys, I'm going. I'm on the air, guys. Oh yeah. Well, you've been on the air. Okay. You want to? You want to know another? You want to know another uh, useless fact? What? Useless fact. Okay. Here is a great useless fact we can use. Let's see. I got to look at the time here. Oh, we only got 11 minutes left. Wow. This shows I'm kind of going kind of fast. Just talking about useless facts. Peanuts are used in the manufacture of dynamite. You didn't see that. Right here, see that? I don't even see it. Oh, that looks like bad. I don't even see it. Yeah, right here, Lori. Uh, peanuts are used to make dynamite. I never knew that. So you, you know the you know dynamite? dynamite. You know the stuff that goes kaboom, blows up. You know, pow. Yeah. Yeah, dynamite. Peanuts are they know. made? They yeah they use I peanuts. Like firecrackers. Yeah, kind of like that. That blows out fireworks. Okay. <laughs> Here's one. Here's one. In an, in an average lifetime, the average American receives 31 prank phone calls. Hopefully not per day. My, my, in my line of work, uh, where I manage a bowling center, I, get, I think I get like one a week. So I am way above the average, everybody. And, of course, I got my dog here. You hear my little dog growling? She is, like, trying to bite my hand. There is a little useless fact right now going on. Totally useless fact to the world that no one will care about but me. My dog. <laughs> All right, while she's doing that, we're going to take a brief break while I settle the doggy down here. And I'm back in one minute. The 
Today I'm back again looking at the original seven episodes of some Ironborn show. Join Earl, Debbie, and Mike on a look back. www.livestream.com slash some kind of porn show. All fun, games, and laughs at your fingertips. Check it out now. Okay, we are back. I had to get the doggy out of the room. I think she... Totally useless fact, she mauled my hand. <laughs> Not really, she, is, she didn't. Shut up, dog! Yes. <laughs> okay, now here's one. Here's one, Lori. You, you want to hear this one? Mm-hmm. A dime. You know, you know a dime? It has 118 ridges around the edge. What? 118 ridges around the edge. Whoa. That's pretty cool. I never knew that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, another useless fact is my daughter just belched in my ear. <laughs> a useless fact? You want to hear a useless fact? One more. I want to talk a few more here while we're at it. Okay? Hey, guys, you want to see something? Okay, guys, 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 guys. Can I? Oh, my goodness. If, if only you could see this. My little girl is trying to make farts with her armpit. <laughs> I've I've heard it all now. Yep. You know, only in my world, in my show, that this is what I got to live with on a daily basis. This is not just for your entertainment, but this is for my entertainment on a daily basis. Anyway, here's one you guys will both like. Okay. What? You want to hear about bubble? You know bubble gum? You know yeah. stuff you chew. It contains. Can I, can I listen? Can contains rubber. Not so sure about this. Yeah, yeah, they say bubble gum contains rubber. Wow. Ew. Yeah, you're chewing on a big piece of rubber. Why is that so funny? It is funny. Okay. Why is that so weird? Can I tell you something? Hold on a minute. You know, you two just need to go on out here, okay? Because you guys aren't playing right. I show you, let them know useless facts. Lori, we got more useless facts here, but I got, I got to read them. Okay, here's one. A cat has four rows of whiskers. That's pretty cool. I never knew that. Well, there's another one. I mean, there's like a thousand on this site. Um, the site actually I'm reading on is uh, www.dbmproaudio.com uh, forward slash facts HTML. Pretty cool. <clears throat> anyway. I'm going down to, I mean, this list goes on and on. I, I'm, I'd have no time to read all this stuff. Here's one. I didn't know this one. <clears throat> there is no rice in rice paper. Okay. Cool. I never knew there was rice. no rice in rice paper. I thought it was made of rice. <laughs> okay. Oh, here's one. A shrimp's heart. <clears throat> Excuse me. A shrimp's heart is in their head. Cool. I never knew that one either. That That's a lot of useless facts just to pass on to all you folks tonight. Useless, useless, useless stuff. But you know what? It's it's entertaining nonetheless. Um, we only have about five or six minutes left. Uh, if anybody wants to call and just say hey for a second, that's fine. If not, hey, we'll catch you next time. 347-539-5699. That is the number to call me and speak to me at this time. Okay. When people say bless you when you sneeze, because when you sneeze, your heart stops for a millisecond. Wow, okay. You're hot. So every time you sneeze, your heart stops for a millisecond. That's that's interesting. I didn't never really knew that. Oh, here's one. Rats and horses cannot vomit. They can't, they can't puke. They just can't do it. Why? They can't puke. They just can't puke. Why? Because they're not good at it? At it? Oh, here's one. Speaking of rats, rats multiply so quickly that within 18 months, two rats could have over a million descendants. That's insane. That That's insane. I mean, how do you keep track of all them grandkids, huh? Okay. Now, now here's one for anyone that does radio. I want to do it. 
wearing headphones for just an hour. Look, I'll, let me read this one, Lori. Wearing headphones for just an hour will increase the breath. Let me read this one more time. Wearing headphones for just an hour will increase the bacteria in your ear by 700 times. That's kind of gross. I know that I know that. I'm kind of afraid to put... We'll take it I know I know a radio guy I'll have to pass that along to here. That is really, really nasty. We're going to take another break. Yeah, we're going to take one more quick break. Hey, I want to say that. You want to take a break? We're going to take one more quick break till we can go back on the show. Thanks, Lori. Good job. All right, we'll be right back. Taking a while. They're back. They are back again, looking at the original seven episodes of some kind of born show. Join Earl, Debbie, and Mike on a WhatsApp. www.livestream.com slash some kind of born show. All fun, games, and laughs at your fingertips. Check it out now. Okay, we're back uh, for the last couple of minutes here of the show. Now, Laura, you'll, you'll be interested in this one because you're, you're, no, this one here, because you're a little girl and you like makeup, right? Mm -hmm. You want, no, you want to know something gross? No. You want to know something really gross? Most lipstick contains fish scales. You want to talk about that, Lori? No. So you got fish scales on your lips. No, I want to see one. Okay, you want to read one? You want to read one? Go ahead and read one. That one. You can't read that one here. Yeah, I can. Okay, here. Let's find one that's, like, easy for you to read. Okay. Donkeys kill more people. Annually. Annually than place crashes. Donkeys kill more people annually than plane crashes. Now, that is one that, I mean, okay. I mean, I, 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 I get it. Yeah, it's, it's a little known fact. Uh, a useful fact. It's a useful, no, it's actually a useless fact. But it actually could be useful for people around donkeys. I mean, I, I get, I, I've been around, I've seen a lot more airplanes than I have donkeys. And my little girl, she is absolutely laughing, losing it over a donkey. Ugh. Anyways, uh, just a couple more here, then we're going to wrap this thing up for the night and say goodnight to everybody. I'm going to do it. Say goodnight. Okay. Can I say goodnight? Ew, now here's one. This is kind of a gross one. Most dust particles are made from dead skin. What the heck happened? I, that, is, that is really disgusting. That, that, is, that is actually very what disgusting. What did you say that? Right there, right there. Wait, I just lost my... Most dust particles in your house are made from dead skin. That is gross. Gross. Absolutely gross. Yeah, absolutely. All right, one more, because we only got about a minute and a half, and then we got to wrap this baby up, okay? So it won't burn out? No, we just got to wrap this thing up. We only got a half hour. Can I see the next one? Can you please? Can you please? Okay, here we go. Wait, wait. This is one for your support. Oh, this is the last one, Lauren. I want to say it. This is the last one. Please. Okay, the plastic things. The plastic things on the end of... Shoelaces. Shoelaces are called... Aglets. Aglets. That's pretty funny. Aglish. Remember that? I don't know if any of you remember the movie Cocktail. They called them flugel binders. What's flugel binders? <laughs> There's a little known fact that some people actually okay, probably remember. Okay, that's a thing. I yeah, we gotta wrap, we're going to wrap this thing up here in about a minute. Lori, I want to thank you for coming on the show and giving me a tour. Very, very helpful co-host tonight. Thank you so much. Yeah. You and Alex both. You guys did a great job. Thank you. All right. Well, we're going to uh, end this show. We're going to uh, come back probably in about... Tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. Maybe in about a week or two, we'll try to do another show. I'm going to try to kind of steer away from the the bowling and the wrestling thing. Uh, that's uh, a buddy of mine. He does a show on here, uh, Kenny Super Talk Show, my buddy Kenny Powers. Uh, listen to his show. I'm going to kind of steer away from that and kind of do my own little thing here and just yeah. talk about stuff like this. All right, everybody, have a good night. This is Earl McCune and Loriana Nicole McCune. Good night, people. Good night, people.
Thank you for listening to Some Kind of Radio Show on blogtalkradio.com. Brought to you by the producers of Some Kind of Bowling Show. I am Al McKinnon. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>